is to provide them with, with good feedback of how they are progressing. Welcome to Architecture Corner, Jan. Thank you, Kasimir. We are talking about talent and the challenges of recruiting talent, and you're an expert in gamification. Can we use the concept of gamification to help recruiting people? First, we need to define what gamification is. Gamification is taking something from the, from the game world, from game design thinking, and uh, adding it to the real world to motivate and engage users and people. Uh, and that is to solve real problems. So gamification is something you use to motivate and engage. And yes, I think you could use that in recruiting talent. For example, if we are talking about IT specialists like programmers and, and, and people that like coding, you could use it like uh, giving them a challenge, a problem to solve. And that could be very engaging to to find talent in this kind of business. Yeah. So uh, gamification can be used for recruiting talent. Yeah. You have talked earlier in, in a seminar about using gamification in school. Can you also use gamification in companies to help the talent to uh, learn new skills, be better of the tasks they are doing? Absolutely, if they need to. If they are motivated to, maybe you don't need to, to motivate them with game-like elements or gamification because the inner motivation could be enough. But one way to, to uh, enhance that learning at work is to provide them with, with good feedback of how they are progressing, how we are progressing at work. Uh, you, you give feedback by, by acknowledging learning you also could get feedback from, from e-learning systems and uh, from, uh, from uh, getting new, new skills, putting them into work. So uh, when you talk about feedback, is that the yearly review you're getting? The yearly review could be uh, uh, a bit too late if you wait a whole year to give feedback on, on how you are performing at work, perhaps. I think you, you see that in the little things, when, as you work, as you get feedback from your colleagues, from your clients and stuff like that. Uh, but you could also do like certification, bonuses and stuff like that. But, but bonuses and salary is, uh, is external motivation and that could be, could be a very short term engagement. Mm. So what's the inner? The inner motivation is the satisfaction of learning something. The inner satisfaction is the, 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 the feeling that you are doing something that someone else benefits for and, and makes them feel good, makes you feel good as well. So this is no uh, game hocus pocus, but what, what the games bring to this, uh, to this pot is, uh, is the, the way of giving feedback in the situation where you are, in the context where you need the feedback to, to see how you are progressing, how you, how you need to perform to get to the, to the next level, what you need to learn, what skills you need and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So, we could learn from that, I think, a lot when designing our workspaces as well. Uh, so the daily stand-up you have in Agile, those yeah. are part of the same uh, thing. Yeah, Agile is a, is a great example of short, short uh, iterations and loops of doing things, where you get instant feedback of what you are doing. You see the progress of the tasks and the, and the bugs and stuff like that, how you're handling them. It gets very transparent for, for the group, for the team to discuss about it. So, so feedback, yeah, that's a good thing. Mm. So what about retain talent? Uh, Retaining talent, uh, I, I mean keeping them engaged in the long run. Yes. That takes, uh, takes a lot of effort, but also a lot of trust. You need to trust your talent to make them motivated. You need to trust them to make their own decisions and to feel autonomous about doing stuff. You also need to, to, to give them uh, feedback on uh, how, to, how to get to the, to the next level or what, what possibilities, what options do they have? What, what draws could they make in their game, so to speak? Uh, so if I join a game, online game, and 
I'm getting to the top and I can't get to the next level, then I will probably think it's, it's getting too boring. Yeah, that's why they invent new levels all the time in, in these games, like Platinum, Super, Super Platinum and stuff like that. And maybe you could reset the game or start in some other world. You have to find new ways to make it challenging. But also, you could turn the, the world around and make you the expert. There could be new challenges in guiding new, mentoring new uh, recruits and stuff like that. So if you're on the top level, you could be motivated by something completely different when, from when climbing to, to the expert level. Now you could be like the guru and teaching people stuff. So can you get the addiction to a work or workplace that you have to get? Uh, the short term addiction, I think, but uh, a long term engagement and inner motivation. Being good at something is immensely motivating. Yeah. And you're addicted to gamification, I guess. I'm addicted to feedback. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it's very well done. <laughs> Thank you, John. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for viewing this episode today. We have been outside Societies office in Malmö. <laughs>